going next to a recorded presentation from Jen Christie, who is the director of Catapult Gray Bruce, which is a local business accelerator that is really looking to support innovative businesses in Gray and Bruce. When I found out that Jen Christie was going to be the director of Catapult, I was super excited because I know Jen has deep roots in the area. Jen comes from a farm family, a farm background. Jen is active in the Ag Women's Network, has worked for John Deere and 4-H. And in fact, Jen was one of our keynote speakers at the original Ag 4.0 conference, which is now seven years ago. So Jen is bringing her um, huge skills and experience back to the region to help um, accelerate local businesses. And she's going to talk a little bit about that in this video that she's prepared for you today. Good morning, everyone. It's nice to be here this morning. I'm Jennifer Christie, and I'm the executive director of Catapult Gray Bruce. And I'm pleased uh, to be joining Ag 4.0 to uh, share a little bit about our organization and uh, the work that we're doing in Gray Bruce. So I'm just going to share my screen. Um, so uh, Catapult Gray Bruce is a new entrepreneur-led not-for-profit that is uh, working with entrepreneurs and the entrepreneur support organizations in Gray Bruce to help entrepreneurs connect to resources, uh, knowledge, and space to grow their businesses. We are based at a Sydenham campus in Owen Sound, which is the new regional skills training, trades, and innovation center uh, that Gray County uh, uh, has started. Um, and we are also a Startup Canada community. Um, so we're connected to a network of uh, regional startup ecosystems right across the country uh, that uh, are similar to us and that they're entrepreneur led and uh, basically um, by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. So you can see a picture of some of our board members here. Uh, we've got a, a diverse board of uh, folks that come from different sectors, including um, agriculture. Uh, we have a wetsuit owner uh, and, uh, and, and several other backgrounds. So as I mentioned, we are part of the Gray Bruce entrepreneurship ecosystem. Uh, the ecosystem is made up of a number of different organizations. So you can see we work with the small business enterprise centers across Gray and Bruce, uh, a number of the co-working spaces, in, including the hub down in here in Kinloss, and uh, the, the various organizations that support employers and industry in Gray Bruce, in addition to our funding partners and institutional partners. So um, we're very pleased to work closely with the Henry Burnick Entrepreneurship Center to provide entrepreneurs in Gray Bruce to act with access to their services, including access to their mentors, um, as well as uh, funding through um, BDC, Futurepreneur, and the various economic development corporations. So this group gets together on a quarterly basis um, just to share what we're up to uh, and, and provide um, really uh, contacts for each other so that if you're looking to uh, get funding as an example and you want to speak with someone at BDC, um, anyone within this ecosystem can help connect you to the folks who serve the Grey Bruce region there. Um, same for the Economic Development Corps or, or Futurepreneur um, if you qualify for their programming. So why we were founded was to um, provide a, a way for entrepreneurs in Gray Bruce to connect with one another and support one another. Um, we recognize that uh, rural entrepreneurs face challenges that are unique from their urban counterparts. And so um, looking when you're looking for support to accelerate or grow your business, it's really important to be able to connect with someone who understands the local market and um, the, the context of being rurally based. And so uh, when we received funding through FedDev Ontario, we were actually one of the first rural innovation centers to be funded. Um, and so we're really proud of this fact. And uh, especially with uh, the influx of, of new folks in Grey Bruce as a result of, of the pandemic, we're seeing a really high interest in entrepreneurship and a really uh, diverse mix of entrepreneurs that are in this region or moving to this region and think that that is ripe for innovation and opportunity for people to collide from different sectors um, and learn from one another and, and create great new things together. 
Our value proposition is for entrepreneurs who want to grow, we provide connections, knowledge, and space to propel you further faster. Um, and what that looks like specifically, so we have uh, a diverse network of mentors that we can refer you to. Um, we have in-person as well as virtual networking events. Uh, we also host Lunch and Learns, um, and then we are running an accelerator program in addition to our co-working space. And so what makes this unique uh, in respect to the ecosystem is that, as I mentioned, all of this is by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. So we understand uh, as the as the organizers and the founders and the leaders of this, this um, of Catapult, uh, what it's like to be an entrepreneur um, because we're all entrepreneurs ourselves. So I mentioned our mentor network. So um, today it's up, actually, we've got over 40 mentors and advisors that have uh, expressed an interest in either providing um, consulting services or volunteering as mentors to work with entrepreneurs in the community. And, and these folks are available um, for one-on-one -on -one referrals or they work within some of our other programming. Um, so you might see them at some of our events, they may be guest speakers um, or may be helping to deliver the Fastlane program. We also uh, recently launched the Catapult Tech Network, uh, which is a network for entrepreneurs and tech professionals within Gray Bruce. And um, the goal of this network is really to connect those folks with one another and, and develop uh, talent here in Gray Bruce. So uh, we do have three hubs for this network where we are um, going to be hosting events from and, um, and, and building the network out. So those are in Owen Sound, Hanover, and at the NII in Soggy and Shores. And we're super grateful to have Silicon Halton founder, uh, Chris Herbert, leading the development of this, this network and bringing in his expertise uh, from the Halton region. Now to Gray County where he resides. Uh, we do have a co-working space as well that is in Sydenham campus. You can see a picture of it here uh, and it is accessible to you as well. So if you want to get off the farm or get out of that home office that you've been stuck in for the last two years, this is a great space to um, collaborate with folks. You can see we've got lots of big chalkboards and, and um, workspace available and uh, great internet. So it's a great place to um, crash for the day. Uh, and then we call it the catapult crash pad for that reason. So you can crash for the day, um, get some work done and um, meet some other folks in the in the area. I've mentioned the Fastlane Plus program. So this is an accelerator program that we have licensed from Innovation Guelph, uh, and it provides you with uh, dedicated consulting support for your business. Uh, so anyone who has a business over $200,000 in annual, reven annual revenue um, may be eligible for this program. Uh, the deadline has passed, um, but if this is something that you're interested in, please reach out to me. Um, we do have a little bit of capacity in it yet, and we do have some fabulous mentors um, from the food and agriculture space. So uh, if you think this program might be a good fit for you, I know we're running into the spring season here and uh, folks are probably really busy uh, getting ready um, for springtime. But if you if you think that um, you could benefit from this and, and you've got um, you've got some time to to work with a consultant, uh, this could be a great fit. So reach out to me and uh, I'd be happy to share some more details with you on that and how that works. As part of our membership with Startup Canada, we also have access to a number of programming supports uh, through their network. And uh, two of these programs I just wanted to put on people's radars is the Startup Global program. So this program provides uh, coaching, support, and a pitch competition uh, to help uh, take your business uh, globally. So um, if you have a product that you would like to grow um, the market for and, and perhaps export, um, this could be a great fit for you. And the application deadline for the pitch competition is coming up on April 11th. So um, if that's of interest to you, um, you can check it out on either our website or theirs um, or look to our newsletter for um, more information um, next week.
Startup Canada also has a Startup Women program. So this program is actually running throughout the entire year. And I just wanted to draw folks' attention um, to these industry-specific advisory circles. In May, there will be an advisory circle for rural women entrepreneurs. So again, if you're looking for a community um, of entrepreneurs that are like-minded, working in a rural community um, to, to learn from and network with, um, this could be a great opportunity for, for you. So um, it is free and uh, all their webinars are free. So there's a couple coming up on, um, on uh, managing risk within your startup and uh, several other really great topics. So again, a great resource to check out. Finally, we are grateful for the support of our partners and donors. We are very proud to be funded by the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario, and that is through our partnership with Gray County and Sydenham Campus. Uh, and uh, we also have received support from a number of private sector donors. We will be looking for further sponsorship and support. So if you're interested in supporting entrepreneurship in Bruce Gray uh, and, uh, and, and think that um, the work we're doing is, is uh, something you'd like to see more of, um, please reach out and I'd be happy to talk to you more about that. Finally, uh, how you can get involved with us. So we do uh, send out a monthly or bi-monthly newsletter that's just chock full of programs, uh, grants, uh, resources for entrepreneurs. Uh, often there is some agri-food resources in there. So um, I don't try to copy Philly's uh, newsletter, um, but do, do usually try to stay on top of some of those programs. So that could be of interest to you if you want to subscribe to that on our newsletter. Um, we're also always hosting regular events, lunch and learns, uh, hopefully some in-person networking happening soon. Uh, and then our Catapult Tech work Network also meets monthly. So um, there is some neat stuff going on with the network, um, a, a project that is looking um, particularly at the agriculture industry uh, and how we can leverage um, technology in that space uh, to perhaps um, help the environment. So I can't talk too much about it just yet, um, but uh, we've, we've got some interesting stuff going on there as well. So um, subscribe to our newsletter uh, to stay informed about that. And uh, if you're interested in uh, learning more about what we do, please reach out and check out our website at catapultgraybruce.com. Uh, I think that's everything for me today. So thank you so much again for the opportunity uh, to be here with you today. And uh, thank you to Philly and Gray County uh, for putting on this great event. Welcome back. Thanks to Jen Christie for that um, informative look at all the services that Catapult Gray Bruce offers.